Another day of ronda rondaing around or just rambling about the old town of Ljubljana and I just love all these little nooks and crannies of the old city and I think we're ready to plonk ourselves down somewhere for a quick bevy. Come and join us. Hey you and welcome back to our YouTube channel and Junior here is very chuffed that he actually spotted a Malaysian flag in this place. This is just a random place that we came across and well it's a hot afternoon outside so we decided that it looks like the kind of place that we wouldn't mind dropping in just for a quick thirst quencher. Right at the entrance, you'll notice that this place has a very nautical theme and it's not surprising considering that this place is named the Captain's Cabin. Okay, let's have a little walkabout and have a little recce of this place before we plonk ourselves at the bar counter and put in our order for our drinks. Ljubljana has quite an interesting and vibrant social drinking scene and if you're just strolling down the embankment of the river, there are tons and tons of places there but it's much more touristy so if you want to look for something different, well you just have to wander down the little alleys and the little back roads and you'll find a place like the captain's cabin. Okay, this is the cocktail shots and this is what I've ordered. This is what they call the blue kamikaze. It's actually a very simple concoction. It's made up of vodka and also blue curacao and a dash of lime juice. And it's beer from the tap for Gobble Guzzle Jr. This one is a pale ale and funnily enough, I thought that Junior would have gone for a Slovenian craft beer but this one, it's called Ghost Ship and it's from the UK. Ljubljana has quite a big student population with the University of Ljubljana having more than 40,000 student enrollment so you can always find well, cheap places to drink, maybe not this one, which caters very specially to the student population. Junior and I, we don't actually stay out late when we're here in Ljubljana, but I'm sure you can find a lot of places which are open beyond the bewitching hour of midnight. Well, truth be told, I'm way past my clubbing days. Having just been to Bratislava in Slovakia, which has a very good craft beer scene and very kind to our pockets too, we are curious to check out the craft beers in Slovenia. Just one thing about Bratislava, well I was trying to get hold of a bottle of locally crafted Slovakian gin to add to my collection back home and I've spoken to quite a number of bartenders in the city and they told me yes, they are locally produced gins but unfortunately they kind of all agreed too that the, the quality of the local gins are, well, shite. Nice respite from the sun right here in the captain's cabin and after this, I think we are going to hit the streets and maybe do a little spot of shopping. Oh look, a very handsome looking brindle greyhound. Haven't seen one of this colour, very unique indeed. 
It's so heartwarming to see that Ljubljana is such a dog-friendly city, and not only that, it prides itself as being very, very eco-friendly. Ljubljana is indeed a very underrated destination, and not very much on the radar of a Malaysian traveller. But I'm very happy that we finally made it here. Now this looks more like my kind of shop, even though I confess that I don't shop as much as I used to do when I'm traveling. But these days I tend to buy only well food stuff and beverages from that specific country. Oh look, they even have Slovenian bear meat in the deli section. I wonder if it's yummy. This shop is indeed very, very interesting. It sells all kinds of local produce from Slovenia, including locally crafted gin. And to those of you who know me well, you'll know that I'm definitely a gin monster. As a matter of fact, since arriving in Slovenia, I've been on a hunt for this particular. Uh, Slovenian gin. It's called the Broken Bones, and we've been to a few drinking places. I've asked around, and no, they didn't have it in their repertoire. I was pretty disappointed, and I'm still determined that I'm going to get a bottle of the Broken Bones. Broken Bones won the Gin Guide Award for 2022 for the Distillery of the Year, and also the winner of the Contemporary Gin. And it's made and crafted in Slovenia. Let's see if I can find a bottle of that in this shop. Hmm. Nope. Doesn't look as if that they have the broken bones. But nonetheless, a very interesting selection of liqueur, brandy, and gin. And I think I'm going to get myself the pink bottle of Berishka. Top class hospitality and service from this shop, and don't you just love the tasting sessions? And this is the bottle of Berishka which I will be taking back home. Oh, silly me! Before I forget, this lovely gourmet shop in Ljubljana is called the Brote Delenske, which kind of literally means Delenske's delight. So we've come towards the end of this vlog for today, and this is Gobble Guzzle signing off for now. And I'll see you again on my next vlog on YouTube. Until then, be kind always, spread peace, jumpalagi, bye bye.